everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today is a very, very special day. I can't quite believe the day has come for me to visit Buckingham Palace for the first time. I have had the honour of being invited to be a guest presenter at the Duke of Edinburgh's Gold Award ceremony today. To be honest, I'm still in a bit of shock. Um, <laughs> they asked me a few weeks ago and of course I just jumped at the chance and said it would be an absolute honour and today has come, finally. So I am doing the afternoon presentation, which starts at two o'clock, which is quite nice because it means that I've had the morning to prepare and kind of rehearse and practice my speech. Uh, I have to give a five to 10 minute speech, which I have written, I've got it all on cards, and I have read this out loud about a million times now. Um, I'm still nervous though. I feel like there's only so much practice you can do. Uh, so I don't want to kind of overdo it. But I have just had my hair done. It's looking a little bit, you know, really, really curly at the moment because I went to Harry's hairdressers, one of my favorite hairdressers. And because the event isn't until this afternoon, I said, let's just go quite curly and then it will drop this afternoon. So I think this will be absolutely perfect. I've just brushed through it a little bit and I have got makeup being done in a little while, in about 20 minutes by a vegan makeup artist called Ali Drew. And I have never worked with her before and I am so, so excited. I've heard so much about her. There aren't many vegan makeup artists out there. Obviously a lot of makeup artists now use vegan products, which is amazing. Um, but I believe that she specializes in vegan makeup. So that'll be really, really great to work with her. And my mum is coming over to come with me to the palace as well as Jo. So it'll be the three of us going over there. I just, yeah, it's gonna be mad. I can't believe we're going to the Buckingham Palace Gardens for this presentation. So before I show you what I'm wearing, I thought I would just give you a little bit of background on what the Duke of Edinburgh's award is. If you're from the UK, I'm sure you know all about it already. It's where 16 to 24 year olds take part in an expedition. So they go out and do like trekking, horse riding, biking, for, I believe it's five nights for the gold award. There are different levels, so you can do the bronze, then the silver, then the gold. They also have to do some volunteer work, they take up a physical activity, they learn a new skill, and part of the gold award is to also work away from home for a few days. So it's absolutely unbelievable what these young people do. I mean, considering some of them are really, really young, it's unbelievable how they do all of that. This is over a time period for the Gold Award of 12 months. So volunteering once a week for 12 months. I just think it's such a great initiative that the tasks and the skills that they will learn and develop. And I think it will just make them grow as a person, make them so much stronger, more confident. And that's what my speech is all about. It's about believing in yourself and how challenges can make you just a stronger person and you're capable of anything if you put your mind to it. So uh, yeah, what I'm wearing, this is a bit of a dilemma because I really, really wanted to find a lovely sustainable um, or ethical brand to wear and I was sent the most beautiful dress by Stella McCartney and I tried it on and I loved it but there was something in my mind when I was like I recognize this dress like where have I seen this dress before turns out a Mal Clooney wore it to the royal wedding so I was immediately like okay I cannot wear this I mean how do I even compete with that you know <laughs> she looked unbelievable and also because this is a royal event as well I just thought I, you know, I can't really go there. So on Saturday, so only a couple of days ago, it's now Monday, I went to the Women for Women International She Inspires Me car boot sale. This charity is a charity that I'm an ambassador for. I am so inspired by all of their work. As you know, like I've worked with them for so long and they hold this annual car boot sale where all proceeds go towards the charity and designers are there selling their amazing pieces. And I found totally by fluke, the most gorgeous dress by Alice Templey. I've met Alice a few times and she is such a wonderful person. Her clothes are beautiful and it just seemed so fitting to wear a dress that I had bought from the Women for Women International car boot sale. So here it is. I adore the patterns on this dress. It's very feminine, very floaty. And luckily today is a beautiful day. We have bright blue skies and sunshine. So I think this dress is going to be absolutely perfect. This is Joe's outfit over here. 
all hung up nicely, ready to put on. And I have these shoes that I only just bought um, from Kurt Geiger. They are vegan leather. And I can't decide what bag to wear of these, but um, yeah. I'm sure I'll figure it out when I put it on. And I've also laid out my jewellery. I did all of this last night. I had a kind of dress rehearsal. So this is uh, one of the gemstones from Monica Vinader. Joe also bought me this bracelet, which matches. And this is my birthstone, which was so sweet. I think he bought this for my birthday last year. These are also some earrings I love. Joe bought me these. They were the first present he ever bought me, um, I think three Christmases ago. And then a couple of rings. Like It's all very simple, not too much. And bless Joe. I mean, I'm absolutely spoiled by him. He bought me yesterday this perfume from Penhaligons. He came home with it. And it's specifically for me uh, today to wear because he wanted to say well done and congrats and everything. And Penhaligons actually has the Royal Crest as well. So I'm wearing a very fitting perfume for today. Right, I'm going to run through my speech for my mum to listen, and also it's the last time I'm going to practice. Ready? What an achievement. Completing the Duke of Edinburgh's Gold Award is something to feel incredibly proud of. Volunteering once a week for 12 months, keeping fit, discovering a new skill, working away from home, and participating in an expedition. None of these are easy tasks, and to have achieved all of this at such a young age is an inspiration to me and so many others. When I started to consider what to talk to you about today, confidence kept coming to mind. Confidence and self-belief are powerful and vital characteristics that can help you go far in life and in your careers. If you believe in yourself, others will too. A real landmark in my life was completing the London Marathon. Having trained for months on end, finally crossing that finish line was the proudest I have ever felt. I took that pride and confidence away with me, and so should you after today. It made me realise that I am my own person, I can make my own decisions, and I am capable of anything if I put my mind to it. This feeling has stuck with me every day since, and I am absolutely positive the Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award will be an experience that will hugely benefit your future, and one that you will feel proud of for many years to come. Careers are funny things. I left school certain I wanted to be a lawyer, but a few years later, having completed a law degree, I knew it wasn't for me. It was a confusing time, but I chose to follow my passions and I started a blog and later a YouTube channel. With this, my career in social media began, sharing advice on health and wellbeing, as well as beauty and fashion. Inspired by my online community and their support, I have achieved things I never thought possible. From releasing a plant-based cookbook to partnering with global brands with great initiatives and travelling the world to meet extraordinary people and experience vibrant cultures. I am also an advocate for sustainable fashion, natural beauty products and have been able to support the charities closest to my heart. I take great pride in everything I have achieved so far, but none of it would have been possible had I not followed my heart in the first place. Whatever your dreams may be, You'll never know what's possible unless you give it a go. So work hard and surround yourself with people who inspire and support you, but above all else, believe in yourself and you'll see those goals come to life. Of course, it will not always be plain sailing. I definitely had some challenges thrown my way, but when things go wrong, and believe me, they will go wrong, you learn from them and they make you stronger. These obstacles are pivotal moments where you decide to either give up or keep on going. I can only imagine the challenging moments you faced during your Gold Award activities, but you chose to pick yourself up and power on through. Do not underestimate how much these challenges will shape you as a person, making you stronger and more confident, ready to take on the next challenge whenever and however it pre presents itself. What makes the Duke of Edinburgh's Gold Award so special is that it goes beyond the positive impact it has on your own life, because you can use your new skills your determination, your courage, and your compassion to help others. 
So I applaud you for all of the volunteering work you've done so far, and I encourage you to continue to use your compassion for the greater good. No matter what your future holds, never forget the importance of helping and caring for others. Over the years, I have seen opportunity in using my platform to raise awarenesses on current issues, particularly women's rights and environmental crisis. I had the honour of becoming an ambassador for the charity Women for Women International earlier this year, having supported them and admired their work for a long time. The organisation helps female survivors of war in countries of conflict around the world, and I was invited last month to visit Rwanda to see firsthand the work they do. It was eye-opening seeing how the organisation transforms these women's lives and reaffirmed to me how important it is to help those who are vulnerable. No matter how many or how few people may be listening, use your voice to do good. I have read a lot recently, as I'm sure you have too, that now is a terrible time to be a young person. It is true that many factors in our society remain uncertain, such as Brexit and climate change, but let me tell you that our future is for us to define and nobody else. You can be the positive change. Wherever I go, whether that's in London or around the world, I see young people following their passions and living their dreams, be it leading businesses, shaping culture or tackling the world's most urgent problems. Yes, it will not be easy, but challenges when met with determined and creative minds give life to the innovation that will shape our future. The activities involved in the Duke of Edinburgh's Gold Award are truly life-changing, so for you all to be standing here now, it's nothing short of incredible, and I hope you know that. A huge congratulations, you're an inspiration, and I'm excited to see where you will go in life and all of the wonderful adventures that lie ahead for you. Thank you. Amazing. So I am all ready. I am loving this makeup look by Ali Drew. So all of the products that she used on me today were cruelty free, which is amazing. And I love what she's done with the skin. It's like really natural and glowy and it feels like I've got no makeup on at all. So I'm very, very happy. It's a gorgeous day, bright blue skies outside, gorgeous sunshine. And I'm here with my mum. She's coming along with me to the palace and then we've got Joey in the front as well. Hey, yeah. yeah, you both ready to we meet the royals. <laughs> we are. I hope we don't let you down. No, of course not. <laughs> I've practiced my speech so, so many times, um, but I'm still a bit worried about it. But I've got it all written down. I've got all of my cards ready to go. So we are in the Buckingham Palace Gardens. This is just surreal, isn't it? It's incredible. How special is this? We're so, so lucky. This is Joe's third time here though. So, <laughs> never no biggie here, never for him. In the gardens. You, oh, you've this never is been in the gardens. There we go. We are about to go so in real. to the palace where I can't film or take photos. And it's where I'm going to be given a briefing on the presentations. <laughs> and then after that, we come out. I give my speech. I meet the uh, people that are receiving the awards. And then I meet the royals. So, this is the back of Buckingham Palace. It's so, so beautiful. I'm trying to make the most of it and just take it all in because I may never ever be here again. friends
a day. I can't quite get over it. I've just been smiling for hours on end. I, it's just been unbelievable. What an honour to be invited to the palace. I, I just, honestly, I can't get my head around it. We had the most gorgeous day. Having my mum there and Joe with me, it just felt so, so special. But more than anything, it was just amazing to meet all of the gold award holders who were such an inspiration, so lovely. Their determination throughout the whole Duke of Edinburgh's award has just been unbelievable and I am absolutely positive that they're all going to go so far in life. They were so bright uh, but just so lovely at the same time. Absolutely wonderful people so it was an absolute pleasure to meet all of them and it was also lovely of course to meet Princess Beatrice. So I wasn't actually sure who I was going to be meeting from the royal family and it was Prin Princess Beatrice. We couldn't film or take photos um, but they did take lots of official um, uh, photos from their official photographers that they the uh, royal family use so I'll be getting those in about four weeks they've said so I'm going to be posting a lot of photos in about a month's time just so you know it isn't because I've been lazy with posting I just won't be able to get them for a while um, and also the same goes for the official photographs of all of the guest presenters so there were about 36 of us um, this afternoon presenting the gold awards and helping the royal family to give out the certificates. One of the things that I spoke about in my speech was about surrounding yourself with people that support you and I just want to say that all of you that have been watching my videos, whether you've been here for the last month or the last seven years, you are the reason that I have the opportunity to do these incredible things. So. When I speak about the support of people, my support is all of you. And of course my friends and family, but most importantly, you are the ones that enable all of this. So it's absolutely unbelievable. And I am eternally grateful for all of these opportunities. And I hope you really enjoy coming along on this crazy journey with me because of course I always love to bring you along on any of these exciting things that happen. So. Thank you so much, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. A royal special. There you go. Maybe I'll become a princess now. Nah, don't think it works like that, does it? But thank you so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye!